Hello folks, Matthew Peterson here from Pragmatic Works and welcome to the next episode in our Building Your First App and Team series. Uh, so if, you, if you've been building the app with us, great, we're just gonna keep adding on to it. If this is your first time seeing this video, take a look in the description below to build this app from beginning to end with me inside of Teams. So in this video, what we're gonna do is pick up where we left last time. Last time we learned how to build in a confirmation screen for our teachers. So they do the check-in, they see the confirmation of the record they made, and then they, in the last episode, we said, hey, here's a button, confirm that all is good, and it takes them back to the first screen and they can continue making records. Well, in this one, we're gonna show what happens if they made a mistake, how can we make it super easy for the user to edit the record that they just made. So stay tuned to figure out how to get this done. All right, so in our last video, we learned how to make a record and get to a confirmation screen. So let me just show you how this part is working here. And again, look at the last video if you wanna set this part up. So I play my application. I'm gonna say I'm gonna make a record here for for Jack Peterson and room number 26 comments. We'll just go with lunch help. I hit save. Takes me to my confirmation screen. A new check-in was created. If I go, yeah, everything looks good. I click confirm. All is good, and we're back to the beginning. But now what I want to show is what if we made a mistake in the record creation. So what we're going to do, and what I've done prior to the video, is I made a new screen called SCR Correction. It's called Check and Correction. And I just added in some of the fields from that form that we might want to make corrections to here. And so basically what's going to happen is when they come here and they realize they've made a mistake, I'm going to give them a button that takes them to the correction screen. So I'm just going to make this easy. I'm going to take my Confirm All is Good button. I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to paste it. And I'm just going to bring this over here. I'm going to change the text to make correction. And then maybe I'll change the color of this button. Instead of being var accent, maybe I'll go with like color dot red. So that's going to be the color. And now what does the on select property need to do? Well, the on select property of this button needs to navigate. We're going to get rid of all that other stuff because that was the copied out. We need to navigate to our new screen that is called mine on SCR correction. So if we play this from beginning to end here, we'll make another record here, room 43, yada, yada. I'm going to hit save. All right, we see our comments, our location. I'm going to say, oops, the location is wrong. Let me make the correction. So I'm going to click on make correction. Now notice it doesn't show anything on this screen because our form is in edit mode, but we haven't told it what record we're trying to do the edit of. So to fix that, what we're going to do is on our correction screen, we're going to select our form. And for the item, we're going to say use the last submission from the original form on SCR main. So I'm going to say FRM uh, check in. That was the form on the first screen dot last submit. And when we bring that in, notice that now brings in the record that we just submitted in. So the last part here is really the, the parts just to finish it up. We need two different buttons. One to say, hey, actually, you know what? I don't need to make the correction. And one to where we can make the correction. So I'm going to insert on my screen itself. I'm going to insert another button. We'll make this look pretty before the next episode. But we're just going to go something like uh, cancel correction. And then maybe I'll change the, uh, the fill color of this button to be, uh, I don't know, we'll go like color dot red. Most importantly is the on select of this button. So when they click it, what do we need to happen? Well, we want them to go back to the first screen because they don't need to make a correction. So we're going to say navigate back to SCR main. And then semicolon, we're going to tell that form on SCR main to go back into new mode so that we can make a new record. So we're going to say new form, form check-in. And then we're going to cancel. We're going to close that off here. So if we play from here, let's make sure everything works before we add the next piece in. So I'm just going to hit cancel. So we're going to go four. We're going to go room 43 again, blah, blah, blah. We're going to save it. I'm going to say, oops, I need to make a correction. I come down and go, actually, you know what? I don't need to make a correction. Let me cancel the correction. And it takes me back to the first screen and my form is back into new mode for a new record. Perfect. 
So now we just need the button on our correction screen that's going to allow me to make the record. So I'm just going to copy and paste this button, change some things around. So I'm going to say something like update record here. So we'll go with update record or update check-in, right? And then I'm going to change the color of this one as well real quick here. So they look two different ones. We'll go with our bar dot accent color. So var accent. It's just taking a while. It's thinking here. Come on, pick it right here, var accent. There we go. And now what does the on select property of this one need to do? Well, what we need to do is we need to first submit the form, right? So we're going to say submit form and then the name of our form, which is form correction. So we're going to close that off. Then we're going to go to its on success property of the form, just like we did in a few episodes back when we did the first form on SCR main. And we're going to say on success of the form being submitted, we are going to navigate them. This was the old one because I just did a copy and paste from earlier. So on success, I want to navigate my user back to SCR main semicolon, notify them your record was updated. So your record was updated, comma, we'll go notification type dot success. So it shows in a green banner and we'll have it disappear after two and a half seconds. And then we also need to do one more thing. We need to put that form on the main screen back into new mode. So we're going to say new form and then form check in. So the original form was still stuck in limbo. So we're putting it back into new mode. So now if we come back here to SCR main and we hit play, so we'll go with Layla this time and we'll say room number 14. And we'll just go with that standard lunch help. We're going to save the record. So we see our information here. I need to, oh, the location might be wrong. So let's go make the correction. So instead of 14, she's actually in room 26. And then maybe she came in not at 850, but she came in at 831. And so now I'm gonna hit update my record. So we're gonna update the record. It says your record was updated. And one of the other things you could do if you wanted to is you could also navigate them to another confirmation screen. Uh, so you could have a confirmation screen for the updated record. So the first one is the confirmation screen for the initial check-in. You could make another screen where you put in what we did in last episode. You put in a display form and you set the item to the last submit of the form correction one. So lots of different ways you could start maneuvering around here. Again, we're going to continue to add more into this app. In our next episode, we're going to learn how can we just see all of the check-ins. Right now, we can only just see our last check-in uh, with that confirmation screen. We're going to learn how can we look at all of our check-ins and then find a specific record that we might want to edit. So hopefully you've been enjoying and you're learning a lot about how to make these team, these apps inside of Teams. Make sure to like and subscribe uh, if you haven't been here before. We hope to see you back again. Thanks, everyone.